G'day folks, Tracy Sheen, The Digital Guide here, back with another tech tip. This week we're chatting about 5G. Now, more and more we're hearing about, you know, our phones coming out with 5G. We're starting to get 5G rolling out across our homes. In fact, we've just gone and picked up our 5G modem today because it's finally available in our area. But what does 5G actually mean us. Is it important? What do we need to know? So essentially 5G is just a marketing term, right? 5G stands for the fifth generation. So when I first started selling mobile phones, we were on the analog network. So my mobile number back at the time was like 018 triple six triple six or something right then we went to the cdma network then we went to next gen or 3g 4g and now we're into 5g so just a marketing term fifth generation what it means for us essentially as business owners is this faster speeds better reliability now comes at a bit of a trade-off as all things tend to do now, 5G is operating on a higher frequency, a higher bandwidth, right? Now, because of that, there is a little bit of line of sight stuff that goes on. So what that means is if you think about uh, if you go for a walk of an evening and you've got your big street light poles out the front, if you're standing directly under a street light, it's really bright, you know, you can see everything around you, you're well lit, everything's looking good. You wander down the street and head around the corner and the further away you get from that light pole, the dimmer the light becomes. When you get around the corner, you might just see a kind of a, a glow, but you're not really going to be able to make things out. Similar kind of thing with 5G. If you're directly under a 5G tower and you've got your phone that has 5G capabilities, your download speeds are going to be incredible. You know, I've seen people saying that they can download a 30 minute Netflix show in like five seconds. So they can stream HD on YouTube without buffering. Like there's a lot of benefits in terms of speed. The further you get away, those speeds drop off. Now, never going to be back to kind of dial-up speed, so don't freak out about that, but that's the big thing to know. Now, if you're in a capital city and let's say you're in a, an apartment building or your office is, is you know buried inside of a high-rise, if it's mission critical for you to have really, really good coverage and know that you know your speeds and your reliability, then probably you're going to want to do a bit of a check about 5G capabilities before you get all gun ho and sign up for it. Because as soon as the wave tries to get through that building, it's going to cause a drop in capability. So if, if um, speed, reliability is mission critical for your business, definitely, definitely, definitely check out with your landlord, check out with you know whoever your service provider is, is it going to get inside my office, my bedroom, my lounge room, my house, whatever it is, um, and just make sure. Now, the other thing to know about 5G is uh, my phone now is a couple of years old. It's not the current model. So I can't just pick up the 5G network with my phone. So you need to make sure that you have 5G enabled devices. So um, next time you're looking to pick up a phone, it's probably worthwhile now considering making sure that the device that you're picking up is 5G capable. So there's rumors that Apple um, are ready to release the 5G SE. The new iPhones already have 5G capabilities. So do some of the Samsung or so do the Samsungs, etc. So just bear that one in mind. The other thing to know is um, it, it's just that speed thing, right? Speed and reliability. So where we're really headed with these 5G technologies and the reason why we're moving towards um, 5G or the fifth generation, it's really because of the internet of things. So if you think we're becoming more and more reliant on our smart homes, so, you know, here I've got smart lighting, um, we have, you know, wireless doorbells, security cameras, all that kind of thing that are connected into our internet. If we want to move towards smart cars, smart driving cars, uh, smart transportation, buses, trains, etc., 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 we need those higher um, 
faster speeds, better capabilities, etc. So that's why we're kind of moving towards the 5G and beyond. So that's it. If you've been wondering what all the ruckus about 5G is, now you know. Uh, do a bit of research. I'll keep you posted on my speeds. Very excited to get this little this little sucker set up tonight. So I'll keep you posted on what kind of speeds I'm getting. And uh, I'll see you next week for another tech tip. All right, take care.